please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share. Hello, welcome to my channel. Well, today I am making strawberry lemonade concentrate, and I'm going to have to record this for you because I bought myself a new microphone. And in the process of doing that, I forgot to put it on for the first part of my video. So right now I'm showing you that I have six cups of fresh strawberries that are hauled and washed. And then I am going to need four cups of lemon juice. And I'm using fresh lemons for this because I really enjoy the fresh taste, although you could use bottled lemon juice. I prefer to use the fresh, and if I end up not having quite enough after I squeeze my lemons or run them through the juicer here, then I will go ahead and put in some of the bottled lemon juice to make up until I get to my four cups. But as it turns out here, I did end up with four cups exactly. The juicer makes it a lot easier than having to do it by hand. Um, but it's well worth it even if you don't have a juicer. It's, it's well worth it to have that fresh lemon flavor. So I end up with my four cups of lemon juice. Also, this recipe will take six cups of sugar. The lemon peels left over could be made into a candied lemon peel. If you looked up a recipe for that, there's a lot of them there. It seems a shame to waste them. So I'm putting my lemon juice into my jam pan or a very large, heavy pot. And then I am going to put in my fresh strawberries and I'm putting in six cups Actually, I put in seven cups. I wanted mine to have a little more strawberry to it. Then I'm going to use my immersion blender to blend the lemon juice and strawberries until it's fully liquid. Now you could use a blender or you could use a food processor for your strawberries. And at that point, you wouldn't need to add the lemon juice until after you have your strawberries pureed. So that's what it looks like after it's all been liquefied. Now we're gonna add our six cups of sugar. Stir that all up, mix it in really well. And that's all the ingredients there are to it. At this point, we're gonna put it on our stove and we're not gonna let it boil. We do not let this boil. Bring it up to about 180 or 190 degrees and then you'll be ready for canning. Give it a stir every now and then, and don't let it even come up to a simmer. Okay, we brought this up to 180 degrees, because again, it said not to boil it. It's not simmering with bubbles either. It's just barely getting there to the point where it's about to simmer. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off and can it up. Okay, in the canner, there will be foam on top of your strawberries. That light color is foam. You don't have to take it off. It will settle at the top of your jar after you've canned it. It doesn't hurt anything. Ball does say to skim it off. So I'm gonna skim off some of it, but not all of it. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. It's not gonna bother me as far as looks go, um, but I will skim, skim some of that off like they suggest to do. It just built up a little bit once it started to get to that really close to the 180 degree stage. It started building a little bit more. So we'll take some of that out. But like I said, I don't care that much if mine is very clear at the top. Once you mix it all in, you'll be all set. You won't even see it. I've got two hot jars here. We're looking for a quarter inch of head space. When you reconstitute this, it will be one jar of concentrate to three jars of water to make your lemonade, your strawberry lemonade. You could also use other things to reconstitute it. You could use Sprite or ginger ale and make like a strawberry lemonade punch out of it. You could use soda water to make like a strawberry lemonade soda. 
or pop as we call it here. You could also add a little bit of it to your iced tea to make like a half and half iced tea lemonade with the strawberry flavoring in it. There's all kinds of things you can do with it. You could add wine to it and make it like a strawberry lemonade wine cooler. So I'm going to take my napkin and some vinegar and go around the lid to make sure I get any of that sticky sugar or strawberry or parts of strawberry or lemon that might be on there. Now I washed and dried my lids um, with canning today according to the National Center for Home Food Preservation. You don't have to boil your lids in rings. You could of course boil your rings in with your jars if you like to but they don't even suggest. Matter of fact they suggest you don't boil the lids. I'm going to continue putting my lemonade in my jars and get them ready for the canner and I have my steam canner on the stove right now heating up to about 180 degrees to match our lemonade concentrate. And remember, you want to put your lids on only finger tight. You don't want to use your, your wrist or your arm and really crank it down. You have to leave a little bit of leeway so the air can escape out of the jar and pull the seal down. That's what we want. I have all of my pint jars in my steam canner. I'm going to go ahead and put on the lid. Then we're going to watch our gauge on the top to get into our green area for our zone. I have a video on steam canners, how they work, how to know where your zone is. Once it gets into that green area for my zone, which is zone one, I'm going to set the timer and can these for 15 minutes. Okay, so my canning time is up. I'm going to take my jars out. I'm not going to tip them to take any of the liquid off the top that will evaporate. I got six of the pints and then I have one half pint that I went ahead and canned up because I can make just a small pitcher of it for myself. I didn't want to waste it. But you can see the color. It's just beautiful. Looks like summer. It's going to taste very good. We're going to let these set for 12 to 24 hours. Make sure they seal. There's another example. Like I said, I didn't take all the foam off, but there's some at the top of this jar and some of that is the pulp from the lemon and some of the strawberry. And I did it all in the steam canner. I have just a little bit of water left in there. So there's another idea of something that you can use your strawberries for. Um, I'll probably make another batch of that because it's really very good. And all you have to do when you're ready to reconstitute one jar of your concentrate to three jars of their water. So give it a try. I think you'll really enjoy it. And thanks for coming with me. Until next time.